As you're packing items up for the holiday weekend and your camping trip, uh, we have a couple of tips for you before you head out. On your side's Tammy Scordino is live in studio to explain. Don, food safety experts say follow some simple steps to keep you and your family safe. The only way to really know if you're cooking them thoroughly is if you have a probe thermometer and you can test the temperature of the item that's on the grill. That's not the only thermometer you'll need this weekend. Tom Schmalz, the food safety program manager for the Central District Health Department, advises that a thermometer also be placed in your cooler. Perishable foods need to be stored in an insulated cooler full of ice so that the temperature is at 41 degrees or below. Other tips from Tom include washing your hands prior to handling food and avoiding cross-contamination of raw and cooked meats. Uh, the good news for Memorial Day is there are no fire restrictions, so campfires are allowed. Despite this, those heading out to the hills are still asked to be cautious. It doesn't take much to start a wildfire. Campers should ensure their fires are fully out before leaving. This means dousing the fire with plenty of water. And even though the rivers aren't brimming with water this year, it doesn't mean you should skip using the life jacket. The key thing is water is extremely cold, and one, if they're not careful, can... Uh, get in trouble, although most people probably won't even want to get into the water because it's so cold in some cases. For other camping-related safety tips, head to idoonyourside.com. Along with those tips, you can also find a list of the exact cooking temperatures for each of the different kinds of meat. Live in studio, Tammy Scardino, 6 on your side.